Time for straight talk about a character trait that empowers people. We're talking about courage and what it means during a time like this. Joined once again by Risa and Edwina. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Appreciate it. No problem. Our topic of discussion today is the virtue of courage. What does it mean to have courage or to be courageous? And is it important or necessary for a person to be courageous? Right. So if we go straight to dictionary, Merriam Webster, you know, identifies courage to be mental or moral strength to persevere or to face danger. Most people associate courage with fearlessness or bravery. However, being courageous is not necessarily synonymous with not being afraid. In fact, many people who commit acts of, of courageousness identify that they acted despite being afraid. Um, Franklin D. Roosevelt, in fact, identified as well that courage is not the absence of fear, but the assessment that something is actually more important than the fear. And so sometimes being courageous is a very conscious choice. It's a choice be, that we make because it helps us to stand up for the things that we value or the things that are super important in our life. For example, these days with our civil liberties and freedoms, um, when someone values something, they are more apt to be courageous. They are willing to stand up and take the risk of being courageous as a result. What does it uh, entail to be courageous or to have courage? And then how does it manifest? It could be as simple, simple as really sharing your opinion about a situation, even though it may go against the masses or what's popular out there. Um, also, it can include, you know, being able to have the courage to set particular boundaries or put boundaries in place um, to preserve your sanity in most cases, even if that means, for example, saying no to family or friends. Um, it could also, you know, courage could also mean, for example, um, an individual deciding to go back to school for higher education and learning after years of being out of school, or even let's just say a, a parent or a family moving across the country to get a better career and a better life for the family. Um, small scale, you can see um, courage where someone stands up against a bully. Larger scales, you can see, like we saw was mentioned earlier, someone who stands up against the injustices, especially taking stand on things, especially when it's an infringement of our constitutional rights. What, what might happen if one actually demonstrates courage? Well, a person might find fulfillment or satisfaction in pursuing things that they would otherwise be afraid to try if they have if they did not act with courageousness. They might obtain the life that they actually want. They might expand their vision and knowledge. They might live life with no regret. Um, and those are, are important qualities for people. On the flip side, a person may also be, you know, shunned or ostracized or disliked even, you know, simply because of of what they choose to do. And so uh, sometimes this comes with um, choices or qualities that people have uh, strong opinions about. And so you might also find that some people are not able to be courageous or act in with courage, despite having, you know, uh, values that they want to stand up for. They may still be too intimidated to do that. So not everyone is able to act with courageousness. The, the idea is that in order to be courageous, there's often a high price to pay for acting in that manner. Okay, so then how does a person actually decide to be or have courage, be courageous? So when it comes down to it, John, it really is an, a person's individual choice. And oftentimes that is based upon their values, you know, what drives them. And, you know, a lot of people will put stock into something that is really based upon their values, what's important to them, and then that helps them to give them a strength to be courageous in situations. Oftentimes what compels people in general to be courageous or exhibit that is especially if, it's, if someone else or something can benefit from, from their being courageous. Um, for example, um, with civilians, you know, helping to overtake the plane that almost, uh, that tried to go into the Pentagon back at 9-11, you know, folks stood up uh, and tried to protect themselves as well as other people to save the lives of others. Somebody's got enough courage to contact you guys, needs help. Uh, can you remind our viewers how, how to do that? Sure, they can contact us at 808-375-7712 or www.hookollc.com. Of course, information we'll have on our website shortly after the show. Ladies, thank you so much for being with us again and for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us, John. Thank you, John. Courage. Not something uh, that's easy to come across, but um, something that every one of us has inside of us. 
And look at the video, there's so many different forms of courage, too, whether it's standing up for something or uh, facing fears. It's one moment where climbing. I could, I, there's, I'm very not courageous. <laughs> I have, I'm courageous less. <laughs> that's and that's when I'm standing on a balcony of a building and I'm like, ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> a lot of people have that with you. Okay, we can.